certainly cool to look at, but they are not the most merciful predators. Spiders, snakes, they'll use venom to kill their prey first. These guys, mm -mm. Step into the world of mantises, one of nature's most intriguing insects that often eludes the keenest of nature observers. To look just like a flower, to go to the extra level. Known for their tricky, deliberate movements and clever camouflage, some remarkable mantises stand strong and reign supreme with features that truly command attention. Join us as we journey through the hierarchy of mantises, unveiling quite extreme traits and rare formidable features. Number 20. Ground Mantis. Why do mantises turn into thousands of different monsters? Well, the ground mantis, indigenous to the arid regions of North America, stands out as the most diminutive among its mantis counterparts. Despite their unassuming size and unimpressive stature, these tiny creatures display a remarkable indifference to their perceived weaknesses. In the vast tapestry of nature, they carve their niche, showcasing a maximum size of merely 1.2 inches for both males and females, with some stopping at just 4 inches. It's almost as if these mantises decided to embrace their compact stature, content with their unique charm. Though thin and seemingly useless for flight, their wings are part of their distinctive appearance. Even the males, while slightly more equipped, seldom take to the skies. Instead, they prefer the earth beneath their feet, dwelling in the soil or leaf litter, with sporadic ventures into the world of plants. All right, he's not very cooperative, but this right here. The ground mantis is a creature of subtle hues, ranging from gray to brown, an artistic palette that could easily lead one to mistake them for large forest ants. Their choice to remain grounded, quite literally, sets them apart from their more adventurous mantis counterparts. Unlike those who take to the air, these mantises opt for swift sprints, showcasing a preference for terrestrial pursuits. In the grand tapestry of mantis species, comparing them to their counterparts is akin to contrasting a chihuahua with a German shepherd, both dogs, yet one exuding a touch of understated charm. Number 19. Iris Mantis the iris mantis is a prevalent European praying mantis species that has expanded its habitat to the Middle East, Western Asia, and the United States. Standing at a modest length of 1.2 to 2.6 inches, it might not seem overly impressive compared to its mantis counterparts, but don't be fooled. This little insect has a clever trick up its sleeve. Unlike other mantises, the iris mantis may not immediately catch your eye, but don't be fooled. When faced with a larger and potentially threatening adversary, this little marvel puts on quite a show. A bluff, if you will. This tactic is a common strategy employed by creatures lacking substantial defenses, such as swift legs, horns, or special skills. Picture it as a convincing act of toughness by animals like praying mantises. Imagine encountering this insect in the wild. It raises its wings, revealing strikingly large and colorful eye patterns, and then turns to confront its assailant by arching its back lifting its belly, and raising its forelimbs. Those prominent eyes could make anyone feel uneasy, especially if the insect makes crackling noises with its upper wings. It's a spectacle that showcases the iris mantis's unique defensive strategy and highlights the captivating drama unfolding in the miniature world of these fascinating insects. Number 18. Empusa fasciata with an intriguing appearance, Empusa fasciata is a fascinating mantis species found in Western Asia and along the northeastern coast of Italy. Its head tapers into a helmet-like miter, complemented by oval compound eyes, slender raptorial forelegs, and a long, thin thorax. Distinct lobules on the ventral belly and femur serve as effective camouflage, allowing this mantis to blend in with the foliage seamlessly. The yellowish-green striped pattern on its legs adds to its remarkable disguise, revealing itself only in motion. Contrary to some misconceptions, there is no evidence supporting the idea that Empusa fasciata engages in cannibalism. Instead, over the course of evolution, this mantis has developed a specialization in feeding on swiftly flying insects, such as bees and flies. This dietary preference could be attributed to the nutrient density of flying insects, particularly during the scarcity of food in the spring. The Empusa fasciata's adaptations showcase its remarkable ability to thrive in its natural environment environment while providing a captivating glimpse into the intricacies of mantis evolution. Number 17. The Egyptian Mantis The small yet captivating Egyptian mantis, native to Africa and found in nations such as Burkina Faso, Egypt, 
Ghana, Ivory Coast, Cameroon, Kenya, Mauritania, Mozambique, Nigeria, Uganda, Senegal, and Zimbabwe is a species that demands attention. Despite its smaller size than its European relatives, the Egyptian mantis stands out with its remarkable speed, making it a true marvel in the world of mantises. Devoid of elaborate designs or vibrant hues, the Egyptian mantis effortlessly blends into its surroundings. Its adaptive coloration reflects the greenery and lush environments and transforms into a straw-colored appearance in arid regions. But don't let its unassuming appearance deceive you. This mantis is a bold and fearless predator, known for aggressively pursuing prey, even if the target appears larger than itself. Surprisingly, the Egyptian mantis exhibits a generally peaceful demeanor, opting to flee or run away when it senses disturbance from humans or potential predators. Unlike some mantis species, it doesn't engage in defensive behaviors like death feigning or displaying colorful marks. Yet what truly sets the Egyptian mantis apart is its exceptional speed. With a striking and grab time of just 0.30 31 seconds, these insects move at lightning speed, making their approach nearly imperceptible. Number 16. European Praying Mantises A type of European praying mantises was mentioned earlier, but it's time to take a closer look at them. Standing at a maximum size of 2 to 3 inches, they claim the title of the largest and most widespread mantis across Europe. Its color palette, ranging from green to yellow and even shades of brownish gray or dark brown, adapts to its surroundings. What makes the European mantis truly exceptional is its hunting prowess. Equipped with specialized front legs, it's a skilled predator capable of swiftly seizing prey, including wasps. Unlike other insects that steer clear of wasps, the European mantis boldly confronts them head-on, showcasing its strength, speed, and strategic intelligence. Utilizing its camouflage skills, the European mantis stealthily approaches wasps, leaping at the opportune moment and leaving its prey with no chance to react. The feast begins with the wasp's head, and the mantis can continue this impressive hunting spree until satisfied. Evolution took an interesting turn as the European mantis grew in size, becoming a formidable insect capable of hunting and devouring lizards from the Agamidae family. This might sound unusual, as we typically associate insects with being preyed upon by reptiles, not vice versa. However, mantises seem indifferent to such conventions, presenting a captivating phenomenon that invites rational exploration. Contrary to the belief that mantises generally live for about half a year, some species, especially those in milder climates, defy this norm and can survive for a full year or even longer. The European mantis, however, lacks this extended lifespan luxury. Its short life expectancy and the urgency to secure quick meals to sustain its lineage may explain its bold and risk-taking approach. Notably, European mantises aren't limited to conventional prey. They can even take on small birds, showcasing their predatory prowess. While the notion of consuming prey while it's still alive might sound disconcerting, the mantis employs its front legs to seize birds by the head, delving into the skull for a taste of the brain. This unique behavior adds another layer to the captivating world of mantises. Number 15. Giant African Mantis while their mantis counterparts were diligently perfecting their skills in tactics, agility, and gripping strength, the giant African mantis took a different approach, fully embracing its aggressive nature. Apart from their considerable four-inch length and notorious tendency for engaging in sex cannibalism, these formidable creatures are renowned for their ferocity, never hesitating to seize a delectable meal when the opportunity arises. And by meal, I mean regular raw meat, not the wriggling living kind. Their popularity as pets makes them even more intriguing as they thoroughly relish stalking and devouring their prey. It might sound peculiar, but there's a considerable fascination among many to witness the untamed side of the animal kingdom up close. And with the giant African mantis, you can bring that thrilling experience right into your own tank. As an added bonus, these mantises are resilient organisms capable of enduring harsh weather conditions that would spell doom for other species. With all these attributes, it's no wonder that these insects secured the respectable 15th spot on our list. Number 14. The Orchid Mantis The Orchid Mantis, hailed as the most beautiful of its kind, showcases a striking resemblance to real orchid blossoms. Originating from the tropical woods of Southeast Asia, this mantis boasts vivid hues and a structure finely tuned for concealment, mimicking certain aspects of the orchid bloom. Contrary to common belief, the orchid mantis is not vying for anyone's affection. In the wild, animals often adopt conspicuous appearances to attract mates, signal toxicity, or blend into their surroundings. 
Here, a unique approach emerges. Newborn orchid mantises with their black and red hues are shielded from predators initially mistaken for ants. As they grow, they master the art of aggressive mimicking. This crafty move involves predators or parasites posing as harmless entities, similar to a mantis disguised among orchid petals or a wolf in sheep's clothing. Despite not dwelling in orchids, mantises can easily be mistaken for flowers due to their leg extension's similarity. To look just like a flower, to go to the extra level. Orchid mantises exhibit a range of colors, from pale to bright pink, with varying degrees of pink accents. Some mantises are entirely pink, some entirely white, and others a mix of both hues. Notably, a mantis's color may change over several days, akin to chameleons. In their role as flower impersonators, orchid mantises remain stealthier than other mantises, only springing into action when insects approach for pollination. They adeptly grab even large butterflies with their robust front legs. Intriguingly, while male mantises stay small and concealed, Females grow larger with improved hunting skills, a unique evolutionary trait uncovered by scientists. The hypothesis suggests that ancient mantises chose to stay near flowers, allowing them to discover additional food sources like pollinating insects. Consequently, some females grew larger to consume more insects, while males remained small for efficient mate-seeking. This sets orchid mantises apart from other arthropod species, where large females typically lay more eggs, as their evolution was driven by predation success rather than reproductive efficiency. Number 13. The Iridescent Bark Mantis In Southeast Asia resides the rare and captivating Iridescent Bark Mantis, an extraordinary praying mantis species that exhibits subtle sexual dimorphism. Typically, females of this species grow slightly larger, reaching an average length of about 1.6 inches, while the smaller males measure approximately 1.4 inches. What truly sets this mantis apart is its vibrant colors, with individual variations in patterns and intensity contributing to its iridescent allure. Unlike its camouflaging counterparts, the iridescent bark mantis strategically employs its colors. It is found beneath tree bark and primarily preys on cockroaches but indulges in butterflies, termites, and flies. Remarkably, it actively pursues its prey rather than relying on ambush tactics, showcasing a unique hunting style. Despite its magnificence, this species lacks a specific classification from the International Union for Conservation of Nature, and experts express concerns about its potential threat due to its apparent scarcity in the wild. Number 12. Malaysian Deadleaf Mantis The Malaysian Deadleaf Mantis, a master of aggressive mimicry, adds a fascinating twist to the world of mantises. When observed from above, it effortlessly transforms into the appearance of a dried-up leaf, creating a truly mesmerizing spectacle. Its flat and elongated body perfectly mirrors the form of a leaf, and the wide prothorax adds to its leaf-like resemblance. Intricate patterns on its upper wings imitate the veins found on plants, showcasing the mantis's exceptional attention to detail. In moments of danger, the mantis employs stealth mode, freezing in place, dropping to the ground, and retracting its legs to imitate a genuine leaf. Even when perched on a branch, it sways delicately as though dancing with the breeze. In their commitment to remaining undetectable, these mantises have gone as far as studying the behavior of leaves. Contrastingly, their wings reveal a different story, featuring a mostly dark underside adorned with large eye-like dots. This duality allows these creatures to both seamlessly blend in with the foliage and, when needed, stand tall on their hind legs, providing a touch of intimidation. The Malaysian deadleaf mantis offers a captivating blend of camouflage mastery and a surprising ability to command attention when the situation demands it. Number 11. Jeweled Flower Mantis Meet the Jeweled Flower Mantis, a captivating small to medium-sized praying mantis species indigenous to Asia, where adults can reach up to 1.5 inches in length. Despite being the smallest of its kind, this mantis is anything but ordinary. Cloaked in light green hues, males and females blend into their natural surroundings effortlessly. Brownish bands further embellish their legs and bodies, enhancing their camouflage skills. Interestingly, while the females have a tendency towards cannibalism, the males exhibit a more social demeanor, making them a unique species in the mantis world. Cannibalism, though rare, is more prevalent in this species compared to other flower mantises. Surprisingly, when provided with proper care, jeweled flower mantises boast a remarkable 90% survival rate among nymphs, making them an excellent choice as pets. They can 
thrive in captivity for approximately nine months. The jeweled flower mantis relies on its exceptional camouflage as its primary defense against predators. However, when feeling threatened, it unveils another tactic. Assuming an imposing posture by standing erect, lifting its arms and spreading its wings to reveal its bright hind wings, a truly captivating creature. Number 10. Shield Mantis. Camouflage takes on a whole new level with the Shield Mantis. It's not just about disappearing among dried leaves. Picture this. A master of mimicry, the Shield Mantis skillfully imitates a fresh green leaf. Its wide body, wing patterns, and horizontal swaying movements create a convincing illusion. It might seem like it's dancing to a catchy tune, but the purpose is clear staying unnoticed. The constant swaying makes it challenging for both predators and prey to recognize it as a threat or potential meal. Now here's where it gets intriguing. As the shield mantis approaches its target, it sheds its leaf-like disguise. Instead, from the victim's perspective, it transforms into something resembling a king cobra. This mantis has elevated the art of blending in, not by mimicking a snake, but by sporting miniature plants and mushrooms on its pronotum and wings. It's like the mantis has spontaneously grown its version of a tree limb. While these growths likely occur naturally without any effort from the mantis, they undoubtedly aid in its incredible ability to disappear into its surroundings. The shield mantis proves that camouflage isn't just a passive act. It's it's a dynamic and fascinating survival strategy. Number 9. Conehead Mantis The Conehead Mantis is like a fascinating fusion of a bug and a dragon, seemingly plucked from the pages of a fantasy novel. Picture this. Males flaunt what appear to be rather fancy horns atop their head protrusion, but don't be fooled. Those are just their antennae. It's reminiscent of the headgear once donned by ancient Egyptian pharaohs. These mantises come in captivating colors, ranging from a subdued brown to vibrant greens and shades of pink, a palette dictated by their home surroundings. There's no point in pretending to be a lovely flower in a landscape dominated by parched grass. Yet, these cone-head mantises pull off the act so convincingly that they sway with the breeze, mimicking plants with remarkable finesse, a true testament to their clever use of aggressive mimicry. Despite being labeled as medium-sized by scientists, these mantises are far from passive. They're bold enough to approach their prey before launching a swift attack. Whether it's a spider, a cricket, or even a smaller mantis, they precisely execute their routine, securing their victim with a powerful grip and devouring it alive. These creatures truly embody a captivating mix of beauty and lethality. Number 8. Spiny Flower Mantis Some mantises exude an almost otherworldly charm, resembling miniature aliens preparing for a cosmic adventure aboard their UFO. Then there's the intriguing Flower Mantis with its distinctive spines. Native to eastern and southern Africa, the captivating Spiny Flower Mantis boasts enchanting green and yellow stripes. As it matures, this remarkable insect develops a captivating patch of color on its wings, resembling a mesmerizing eye, much like its counterpart. The orchid mantis, it expertly masquerades as a flower, primarily relying on flying insects that visit for pollination as its main source of sustenance. Unlike their bug-hunting relatives, these spiky flower mantises prefer a more discreet approach. Have you ever witnessed a flower in motion? Unlikely. They prefer to keep things low-key, only revealing their impressive stature through a fascinating diamatic display when confronted with danger. In this unique species, the females take the spotlight, being larger, heavier, and number eight, spiny flatus. Some mantises exude an almost otherworldly charm, resembling miniature aliens preparing for a cosmic adventure of their UFO. Then there's the intriguing flatus with its distinctive spines. Native to eastern Northern Africa, the captivating spiny flamantis boasts enchanting green and yellow stripes. As it matures, this remarkable insect develops a captivating patch of color on its wings, resembling a rising eye. Much like its counter, the orchid mantis, it expertly masquerades as a flower, primarily relying on flying insects that visit for pollen its main source of sustenance. Unlike their bug hunting relatives, these spiky flower mantises prefer a more discreet approach. Have you ever witnessed in motion? Unlikely. They prefer to keep things low-key, only revealing their of stature through a fascinating diamatic display when confronted with danger. In this unique species, the females take the spot, being larger, heavier, and wider than their male counterparts. An easy distinction between the sexes lie of their wings. Male wings extend past the end of their abdomen, while female wings reach precisely that point. Nature's intricate designs never cease to amaze, 
Number 7. Moss Mantis Moss Mantis, a stealthy inhabitant of the South American rainforest, is a that might elude your notice but fear not. It will find you with its unique eye arrangement. What sets this specific mantis apart is its exceptionality to detect movement up to an impressive 60 feet away. A remarkable feat for a creature of its size. Its foliage of the rainforest, moss mantises have honed out of disguise, adopting the appearance of moss to blend seamlessly with their surroundings. Their body colors, ranging in shades of green, contribute to their virtual invisibility. Adding another layer to their cunning camouflage, these mantises feature small bumps on their belly and thorax, mimicking the texture of moss. Their subtle sway. Number 6. Devil's Flower Mantis The magnificent Devil's Flower Mantis, also known simply as the Devil's Flower Mantis, hails from the exotic landscapes of eastern Africa. Among praying mantises, it possibly takes the crown as the largest species that convincingly imitates flowers. Picture this. With a maximum length of five and a half inches, it's not just a mantis, it's a floral masterpiece in the insect world. The females, with a wingspan reaching six inches, add an extra touch of grandeur to this captivating species. The Devil's Flower Mantis is a well-known and cherished choice for those with a penchant for unique pets. Its exterior boasts a pretty white-green striped pattern, subtle but undeniably charming. However, the real showstopper lies within. Distinctive red, white, blue, and black stripes adorn the inside of its front legs, creating a vivid spectacle that sets it apart. These colors remain hidden when the mantis is at ease, but when danger lurks, it elevates its body and spreads its forelimbs, revealing its full, breathtaking beauty to potential predators. In the face of danger, this mantis doesn't shy away. Instead, it launches a diamatic show a performance aimed at scaring off or momentarily distracting a predator. Its wings, painted in an array of vibrant hues, play their part in the act, designed to both frighten and confound any would-be threats. The Devil's Flower Mantis is not just an insect. It's a living work of art, a captivating display of nature's creativity and ingenuity. Trigger your curiosity, guys because it's time for today's subscriber's pick. And oh boy, we have a head scratcher for you. Take a look at this mysterious insect, or is it a mantis? I mean, why do mantises turn into thousands of different monsters? The image I'm seeing doesn't scream mantis at all. From the first frame to the second, it's like the mantis went through a glamorous evolution. Do you think it's the same species or maybe a mantis makeover? And let's talk about that arrow. A pointer to mantis evolution or just a stylistic choice? If this insect starts glowing in the night, I bet you'd think twice before saying hello. So what's your take, bug enthusiasts? Drop your guesses and theories below and let's unravel this mantis mystery together. Because clearly my insect identification skills need some serious upgrading. Number 5. The Boxer Mantis Nature had its creative moment when it decided to paint the boxer mantis with shades of green and brown, creating a natural camouflage that seamlessly allows them to blend in among leaves and stems. While many mantises adopt floral or leafy disguises for camouflage, the boxer mantis adds a unique twist with its muscular front legs that truly stand out. Picture two boxer mantises engaging in what appears to be a bug boxing bout, with their legs raised and gracefully waving even though they never actually collide. The touch-free battle unfolds like a mesmerizing dance, earning this mantis species a top spot on this list. The spectacle leaves one of the mantises gracefully retreating, adding a touch of drama to the encounter. Scientists are still scratching their heads over the cause of this behavior, speculating that it might be a form of expression or a strategic move to avoid becoming a meal for another mantis. When confronting each other, the mantises engage in a leisurely, limb-waving dance, showcasing unique patterns on their inner surfaces. While it remains a questionable idea, given Mantis's known tendency for cannibalism, it adds an intriguing layer to the mysterious world of these fascinating insects. Number 4. Ghost Mantis Ascending to the apex of the mantis hierarchy, we encounter the captivating ghost mantis. Despite its petite size, just a little over two inches, this mantis earns its name from the mesmerizing growth on its head, adding an enchanting touch to its small frame. Distributed across Madagascar and various regions of Africa south of the Sahara, these remarkable creatures thrive in arid areas adorned with trees and shrubs. What sets the ghost mantis apart is its remarkable survival strategy. These mantises ingeniously feign death when sensing danger, remaining motionless on the ground until the threat subsides. 
It's a deceptive act that leaves predators baffled. Who would have thought that this seemingly dried out leaf could be a cunning predator? Preying primarily on flies, the ghost mantis boasts a forewing that mimics the appearance of a withered leaf, complete with intricately shaded creases. In their natural habitat, these mantises seamlessly blend into fallen leaves, showcasing the brilliance of their camouflage. Their lightning-fast race to catch a fly takes a mere 0.27 seconds, making them some of the quickest hunters in our discussion today. Undoubtedly, their rapid movements contribute to their status as one of the most formidable mantises, showcasing both sophistication and strength in their hunting techniques. Number 3. Wandering Violin Mantis Leaves, moss, bark, flowers, how about a stick? It may seem astonishing that this chip-shaped organism, with dimensions comparable to a mere stick, can actually be a formidable predator. Enter the fascinating world of the wandering violin mantis, also known as the ornate mantis, or the Indian rose mantis, found in the enchanting landscapes of southern India and Sri Lanka. With a maximum length of 11 centimeters, its body cleverly mimics a twig, complete with appendages resembling withered leaves. Some biologists even find a lyrical resemblance to a violin in its appearance. Despite its twig-like facade, the wandering violin mantis behaves just like any other mantis. It patiently waits for the next meal, a process that can span hours. This species has mastered the art of concealment, gently swaying in the breeze to blend seamlessly with its surroundings. Here, patience is truly a virtue in the world of hunting. What sets these mantises apart is their unique social behavior. Unlike their cannibalistic counterparts, they show no interest in preying on each other. Instead, they prefer to live and mate in large groups, exhibiting a surprising communal lifestyle. Their dietary preferences also distinguish them. They primarily feed on flying insects, indicating a reluctance to consider fellow mantises as food unless faced with the threat of starvation. It's intriguing to observe that, when hungry, they turn to one another rather than resorting to cannibalism, especially during times of insufficient food, particularly among the younger mantises. This adds a layer of complexity to their behavior and sets them apart in the diverse mantis kingdom. Number 2. Brazilian Dragon Mantis Ever tried spotting the elusive Brazilian dragon mantis? It may not breathe fire like Smaug or Drogon, but its appearance is nothing short of striking. This master of camouflage is a true artist in the art of hiding. With appendages that mimic leaves and a nonchalant swagger that resembles a twig caught in a gentle breeze, the dragon mantis is a spectacle of nature. What sets the dragon mantis apart from its relatives? Take a closer look at its forelegs. Unlike its mantis counterparts, the dragon mantis positions its front legs at an almost right angle to its neck, near its head. The scientific community is still puzzling over the reason behind this unique behavior. Could it be a strategic move for better concealment? The dragon mantis boasts lengthy tails, contributing to its exceptional ability to blend seamlessly into its surroundings. Encountering a dragon mantis is akin to stumbling upon a scientific unicorn. Their unparalleled skill in camouflage makes them a rare and captivating find. It's not just their rarity that astounds researchers. Mantises as a whole have remarkably honed their expertise in the art of disguise. The Brazilian dragon mantis is a living testament to the incredible adaptations these insects have undergone. Number 1. Ancient Praying Mantis Mantises with their intriguing abilities and unique appearance boast a long evolutionary history spanning diverse geographical regions. Scientists recently unearthed a remarkably well-preserved mantis fossil beneath a stone slab in northeastern Brazil. These ancient creatures coexisted with dinosaurs and outlived them around 110 million years ago. Fossil data suggests that these ancient mantises had more body spines than their modern counterparts. Whether this points to a more aggressive hunting behavior or an additional defense mechanism, we cannot know. However, discovering the delicate remains of these extinct insects is a rare and incredible feat considering the challenge of finding fossils for species without sturdy shells or skeletons. While scientists have previously found mantises in amber, those specimens were much younger, dating back to around 30 million years ago. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.